People know the word climate change. They hear it all the time and still switch off. It is about how we change these structures. We know what to do. We've got to fundamentally rework the way we do our economies. You just carry me as the end of the road. There probably are only a couple of hundred people. There's nothing. This is a dead end. This is a stop. It's a cul-de-sac. It's like a, an island. There's just one street. A dead place? No, I think that it's a hidden place. There's a legend about the man eagle. If you come here and say, ooh, what is it about this place? You're getting tapped by the spirit. What the hell am I doing here? There's nothing to do. That's what you think. I came here for three days. <laughs> it changed my life. I just stayed here for a while. <laughs> Travelers pop into town and just decide to stay. They just attract it to this place. They go for one night and they stay for years. I was in a windowless office in the middle of Tokyo behind a computer all day. So I bought some land here with the express purpose of protecting it from development. <laughs> Paul is a man with a vision. He supported me. He had given me $18,000 before I'd even met him. If you want to draw attention to yourself, paint, <laughs> paint your building with a rainbow. The whole lifestyle stops being about money. It starts being about something else. Karamea is about quality of life over quantity of life. They've got woofers, an organic farm. They shouldn't be here. They just seem different. <laughs> Real characters. This is Radio Karamea. DJ Crap and the Big Man Show! You can't pretend to be someone there. You have to be a real person. This is a good place. Good? What do you mean by good? It makes you feel good. We've had 2,000 years of running this place with our minds. It's time to start running it with our hearts. The special part about Karamea, it's at the beginning of the road. The road has to start somewhere, why doesn't it start here? <laughs>